Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Sorry I ain't been around for a while, but my iPhone and my computer has been having a fit between each other and for whatever reason it stopped allowing me to um, import pictures and videos from my phone over to my computer. So... If everything goes well you will be seeing this video because I will have fixed the issue anyways let's take a look at what we're using tonight um, a razor which I have never used on camera before in fact I don't I didn't even own any of the razors that this company made until just recently and it's this one, the Parker 22R. The blade in it is an Astra uh, Superior Platinum, also known as an Astra Green. The brush is this nice little Yaki, which I received in a piff. You know who you are. The soap, it's actually going to be a cream. I don't own a lot of creams, but it is the fav my favorite of the ones I do own. Uh, and it is Tobbs Sandalwood or Taylor of Old Bond Street, if you want to be anal about it. <laughs> um, and I will be mixing the lather up in my, let me move this over here, my white porcelain crown king scuttle i got for father's day a couple of years ago so anyways i'll go ahead and cut away here and uh we'll go ahead and now uh, get the lather mixed up in the uh scuttle and then we'll go ahead and come back and start mix the cream up relatively quick in the scuttle um The only problem I really have with this brush, I really like this little Yaki brush, but the problem I have with it is it's kind of a small handle, but I do like the brush. As you can see, I'm not going to be growing in a mustache or goatee or a beard or anything like that for No Shave November. Um, in case you're new to my channel, I hate full face beards. Had a goatee for a while. Had a goatee for years, as a matter of fact. Shaved it off. And, uh... several years back and oh dang it I was gonna use my PAA cube dang it but um and now if I try growing in a goatee it just it just irritates the crap out of me so so you know Hang on, guys. There we go. <sighs> All right. There are some guys I want to give a shout out to. A couple of guys. Um, I'll do it in the next video. Because I don't even know if I'm going to get my issues straightened out with this video. So. Yeah, the cool thing about these 22Rs, if you're not familiar with them, the TTO knob starts way up here. As you can see, whoop, whoop, whoop. So, I have an interesting design. That warm lather just feels really nice on the face. Oh, yeah. First pass with green. I ended up trading this razor 
for our getting this razor from my friend Christian out in the Victorville area in San Bernardino. Um, I had three Gillette new long combs, two American made, one in the case. I believe that's the Federalist set. Um, red like the case. And uh, a British and another American made. And the British made and the American made wasn't in cases, or the second American made wasn't in cases. So I like the razor, and I told him, I said, Hey, I'll tell you what, you shave with my new long comb. I got three of them. I'll shave with the 22R and uh, if we both agree after the shaves I'll just trade you straight across and he said yeah sure There at the corner of my mouth. All right. There we go. Back on October 15th, I turned 50 years old. Hooray! So... Um, oh, I haven't been keeping up on the shave videos, but, um, from everybody, and I feel kind of guilty about it, but happy belated birthday, Jill. Uh, she shaves with Jill. But... There we go. There we go. Got a little bit of shaving cream on my nose. Let me go ahead and wipe it off there. Just a touch too much water here to the cream, so it's a little thin. That's okay. No big. Still slick stuff. I'm almost out of the darn stuff. I'm gonna have to order a new new bucket, a new tub of it. I've got mm, three, four days growth. So. We had a windstorm uh, about a week or so back here where I live. And um, I'm honestly surprised we didn't lose our electricity. But, um. We had a magnolia tree go over. Luckily, it was at 
the end of the apartment. And uh, when it went over, fell towards the street. Oh, I just went against the grain on that one, right there on the chin. Boom. Luckily the, uh, like I said, luckily the magnolia tree went over, didn't hit anybody. And the tree right outside our door pretty much in front of the middle apartment ended up splitting. Ended up splitting from the wind right down the middle. About mm, third of the way down the trunk. And then it started getting worse. So. That was fun. Landlord just came over. And took most of it down. About a week ago, almost a week ago it happened, so. And the landlord just took it down, so. At least took all the stuff about the split off. So, we got a, just a trunk sticking up with a little bit of a split in it. So, there ain't no covering for that tree. If you're in any of the areas that was affected by the wildfires, I hope here in California or wherever. Yeah, here in California. I hope you did okay. Just buzzing right through this shave. But um, I'd say the aggression level on this 22R is not quite mid-level. It's a nice smooth shaver. A little bit of buffing. All right. Look at that chair. By the way, if you're new to this, um, style shaving. As you can see, I was buffing without any reapplying any soap or cream. You just want to make darn sure that whatever you're using has good residual slickness in order to do that, which this does. All right, that's the shave. I'm gonna go ahead, shave my head, and I'll be back. Well, 
it's not baby butt smooth, but it's damn fine. Damn fine shave. Um, sometimes that 22R is a little bit of a pain to hit the... Oh, hang on. I missed a little bit of it right there. A little bit of a pain to hit the angle. But... Um, not too much. Of course, I've only used it like three times, the 22 hour, only like three or four times. So, once I get used to it, once I get used to it, I'll go ahead and get it dialed in. I'm going to wipe this cream off the back of my head here. But, all in all, it's a pretty good shave. And that 22 hours is not a bad head shaver. I had disposable, so... Uh, my girlfriend says we got a pack somewhere, but I can't find it. She put it somewhere. She's hiding the razors on the blind guy. For God's sakes. The humanity. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so, not bad, not bad at all. The brush, only problem I have with the brush, I like the knot. The only problem I have with the brush is it's a little small, but it's workable. And it works pretty good for a scuttle. Um, of course, lather in a scuttle, real nice. Taylor Royal Bond Street Sandalwood, just a great, great cream. Really happy with that. So, um, the Astro SP, great blade. I really enjoy the Astro SPs. Um, ah, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Um, use some Nivea Aftershave Balm. This is the original formula. So after shave bomb, you don't need a lot, which I think I might have gotten too much. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long ways. Um, you can find it at Walmart, Target, Rite Aid, Walgreens, um, CVS pharmacies. So. And the excess off. But, yeah, you know, well, it's a great shave. I did record a video of me doing a birthday shave, but like I said conflict between my computer and my iPhone. But hopefully that problem's resolved. Shoving it in. There we go. Yeah, our dog, she acts so big, so tough. Our little Queensland healer, Staffordshire Terrier mix. She acts like she's so tough, but she's a chicken shit. Um, She'll bark at somebody. I'll tell her, come here. And she'll spin around and run off and hide in the room and bark out from the bedroom. When we had that bad windstorm, which I kind of get this one. Um, um, Panag Clubman for the aftershave. I love the scent of this stuff. But when that magnolia tree went down, she was out in the backyard going to the bathroom. And of course, you know, tree blowing over can be a loud thing. And uh, of course she didn't want to go back out in the rain. 
That's understandable. Or the wind, I should say. That's understandable. But it took us like... Four days get her to willingly go outside without us having to pick her up and open the back door and drop her outside so she finally is uh, maybe not that long about two or three actually now she's like goes outside when she's asked when we told her to so I mean she didn't have she had one accident in the house but you know that's not bad for her you know, dogs are going to have accidents. But anyways, that was the shave. Ah, love the smell of that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, really liked the shave. Really enjoyed the products. Um, uh, hopefully, this does. Hopefully, this one works out. Anyways, so I'll see you all later. I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.